The one question we get a lot, especially at our Grand Pacifica project where we're building homes for people is, how can I oversee construction of a home from you know, a thousand or two or three thousand miles away? And that's a really, really good question. Uh, one of the things that we have to look at when we're buying property overseas is, is the notion that we're probably not going to be there when it's being built. And so what are the protections in place to verify that the plans that I've agreed to, the designs that I've agreed to, uh, are being met and kept in accordance with my wishes? Well, that most development companies will have somebody or some process in place. Ask about it. Who's going to do it? How are they going to do it? Are they going to take pictures and email them to me? How often are they going to take those pictures and email them to me? Yeah, yeah. And then you, uh, the buyer, should plan to come down at least three or four times during this building process to come visually inspect it yourself. You know, I'll tell a funny story about me. Uh, again, a lot of these 15 questions, the lessons I've learned have been lessons that I've paid the price to learn. So I built a house in Managua where my family has lived for the last 12 years. and. So we're, we built a beautiful home and the house is getting done, the kitchen cabinets are in, the bathrooms are in, and we're walking through, kind of like a pre-walk through, and we walk into the master bedroom and there's a hole in the floor. And we're like, when's our tub coming, Dora? Like we had this uh, like jacuzzi tub in our master bathroom. I'm like, you know, so when's the tub coming, Dora? She goes, you didn't order it. I'm like, what do you mean we didn't order it? She says, you didn't order it, you didn't buy it yet. I'm like, what do you mean? She says, well, you need to order it, you need to buy it, it's, it's not included. I said, what do you mean it's not included? It's on the plans, look, right here is a picture of this tub. And she says, yeah, yeah, but, but it's not included. You know, there's a picture of a pickup truck in your driveway too in the architectural plans and it's not included. Okay guys, I'm just telling you. We don't know what we don't know. Coming all the way back to the beginning, we don't know what we don't know. The tub wasn't included. I didn't know the right question to ask. Hot tip, you know what else isn't included in a house in most of Latin America? The internet cable, if you don't go Wi-Fi, the actual cable or TV cable running through the walls to your outlets. That's not included either. No big deal, it doesn't cost very much if you buy it while they're building the house. If you wait till the house is done, then you can have people climbing around up in a ceiling or punching holes through concrete walls, running conduit where there isn't any conduit. That's expensive. The other thing that happens is, is things like the fans. The fans may not be included because even though they're on the plans, you may still have to go out and buy the fans, the lights, uh, the different fixtures, well, certainly fixtures you would have to buy, although I think in North America there's probably a package that comes standard. So if you're buying a house in Latin America, you're building a house, not buying a house, but you're actually going to build a house from the ground up. You know, you need to know these things. Now some companies like ours, we put these packages in. We consider all of those things standard. Um, but when you're shopping for price, a lot of times people say, oh yeah, we can buy a house in, in Nicaragua for $50 a square foot. Well, that's true. It doesn't include, you know, most of the things that we would say finish a house. So again, apples to apples comparison. If you want soup to nuts, make sure the developer or the contractor is going to give you soup to nuts and actually put the things in the house that we as North Americans expect to be there when we walk in and have our furniture moved in uh, to, to come enjoy the home that we've just purchased.